Big changes are coming to the Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and in particular its twin displays, says new information provided by Lika Kamila Wasikowska and Android Authority. The most noticeable difference will be the inside and outside display sizes. According to Wojciechowska, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold will include an 8-inch internal display and a 6.24-inch external display. This compares to last year's Pixel Fold, which has a 5.8-inch exterior panel and a 7.6-inch inside display. The size increase and the revised resolutions, so this the table, show the Pixel 9 Pro Fold transitioning from a short and broad to a square form. This would make the Google Foldable similar to other products on our best foldable phones list, such as the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 or the OnePlus Open. Both Pixel 9 Pro Fold panels maintain the same 120Hz peak refresh rates as the Pixel Fold. However, as a consequence of the size changes, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold's outside display has improved pixel density, but its inner display has reduced compared to the earlier model. Google has also given the Pixel 9 Pro Fold an excellent brightness rating. Actual display technology, which debuted on the Pixel 8 series, is making its way to a foldable device for the first time this year. While a genuine launch for the Pixel 9 series is an unnecessary formality, given how much these phones have leaked, the August 13 Made by Google event has been confirmed as the official introduction of the new Pixels. Though Google has announced that the Pixel 9 launch event on August 13 will begin at 10 a.m. PT, the Pixel 9 series will feature the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, Google's second foldable, although it's unclear how much more Pro it will be than the first Pixel Fold. The launch is scheduled for around a month before the expected release of Apple's iPhone 16. Google announced the Pixel 9 release date in a post on X, which also contained a word search for reasons you should break up with your phone. You'd expect a Pixel Fold sequel to be dubbed the Pixel Fold 2, but according to rumors, Google has a different plan. The following foldable is expected to come with the Google Pixel 9 series. With that launch presumably set for August, we might soon learn if the following Google foldable is the Pixel Fold 2 or the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, as many believe. Whatever name this Pixel Fold successor takes, the next model should bring many enhancements. The original Pixel Fold was a standout foldable device because of its large front display, high-quality cameras, and simple multitasking. Despite significant flaws, thick bezels, some applications do not go full screen. Google's first folding phone earned a spot on our list of the best foldable phones. However, the impetus is on Google to push the boundaries with a Pixel Fold 2 slash Pixel 9 Pro Fold since it will face stiff competition from the impending Galaxy Z Fold 6, which we anticipate to see in July and other folding devices. The upcoming foldable Pixel is expected to have a thinner and sleeker design with less of a camera hump, a far more powerful Tensor G4 processor, and other improvements. Here's what we know about the phone thus far. First, let's discuss the name. While the Pixel Fold 2 would seem to be the natural name for a sequel to the Pixel Fold, Google's choice to integrate its foldable into the normal Pixel flagship range likely resulted in a name change. We've heard reports that Google will use the Pixel 9 Pro Fold moniker instead of Pixel Fold 2, presumably to help integrate it with the rest of the Pixel 9 series, which includes the Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, and Pixel 9 Pro XL. According to Google's first official teaser for the next generation foldable, the speculations were correct. So be ready for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold to be formally introduced on August 13 at the Made by Google event. Typically, flagship Pixel phones, whether they have the Fold or not, would be released around October, since that is when Google does its announcement events. This year, however, Google has given us a curveball. The business has planned a Made by Google hardware event on August 13. Subsequently, it has been announced that the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro Fold will emerge at this event, most likely along with the Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro XL. There is no indication of the price of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold at this time, but that might change as we move closer to the August 13 announcement. We don't anticipate the next foldable being less expensive than the Pixel Fold starting price of $1,799, but considering the recent rise in smartphone prices, we won't count it out until we hear otherwise. The Z Fold 6 is presently reported to have a $100 price rise, for example. 
According to a design leak, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold may appear different from its predecessor. Rather than a broader cover display, which we prefer over phones with narrow panels like the Z Fold 6, Google may go for a more significant but narrower outer screen. According to sources, the inside display will be brighter than previously, with a square-ish aspect ratio when unfurled, similar to the OnePlus Open. The size modifications were likely in reaction to criticisms that the Pixel Fold lacked sufficiently optimized applications, resulting in black bars on the more prominent internal display. It would result in an even smaller design, meaning less weight. One benefit of adding the Pixel Fold follow-up to the Pixel 9 series is that it can use the same Tensor G4 processor as this year's top Google smartphones, which would mean advantages over a G3-equipped gadget. While Tensor processors are not renowned for their benchmarking abilities, reports suggest that the G4 CPU will be built on Samsung's Exynos 2400 chipset, which powers the S24 and S24 Plus outside the United States. Exynos processors do not outperform the flagship Snapdragon chipsets used by other Android flagships. Still, the new architecture may provide the Pixel 9 Pro Fold with a considerable increase in computational power and extra AI functions not seen in last year's G3-powered Pixel 8 series. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold might include 16 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs more than the original. A storage update to UTS 4.0 would result in quicker RAID and write speeds and more power efficiency. In addition to these internal changes, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold might have a Threads radio. This would allow it to interact with Matter smart home items and run future devices from various companies. Rumors about new features coming to Google's Foldable are less common than leaks about hardware modifications. Still, there are a few suggestions about what adjustments Google may make to an upgraded Foldable. Uncovered code suggests an enhanced multitasking strategy, especially for portrait mode. When you enter split-screen mode with your Foldable in portrait orientation, it is currently limited to a top-bottom arrangement. The code hints that you will be able to specify a left-right split. Other software enhancements for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold include AI capabilities similar to those reported for the rest of the Pixel 9 series. AdMe is designed to improve group photographs, like the Best Take feature debuting with Pixel 8. The Studio tool expands the picture production tools that use generative AI Pixel screenshots, also employs on-device AI to search through any screenshots you've taken of your Pixel phone screen. Many details regarding the Pixel Fold successor still need to be clarified, including its name and whether it would be part of the Pixel 9 range. Given the earlier-than-usual Google hardware showcase, we expect answers soon, whether from the event itself or further leaks in the coming weeks. Regardless, the ex-post included a link to Google's website, which included enticing photographs of a redesigned style for the Pixel 9 family. The Pixel 6's backspanning visor design has been replaced with a sizable pill-shaped camera block holding three cameras that protrude from the phone's rear. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold features four cameras divided over two rows, but the camera block is also circular. To top it off, the Pixel 9 Pro sides are flat, similar to the past several years of iPhones, a departure from the rounded edges of prior Pixel phones. We can't see the sides of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but it appears to be similar to the Pixel 9 Pro. However, the rounded edges of the cover screen are more pronounced, making it appear nestled into the metal frame in a way that the Pixel Fold did not, with its layer of black between the screen and the hinge. Google is known for teasing its own goods before they are released, so it's not unusual to see the company's new phones before their August 13 debut date. However, we'll have to wait and see if any additional gadgets are shown next month. Full camera specifications have yet to be revealed, so there isn't much for photographers like me to get excited about. Google will introduce a third size for the Pixel 9 family, allowing the smaller Pixel 9 Pro to have the same triple camera system, with telephoto zoom. Currently, this is only accessible on the bigger Pixel 8 Pro phone. That's great news for people who want a smaller phone while still getting the best functionality. It remains to be seen if Google will follow Apple's lead and offer unique features to its biggest phone. For example, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has 5x optical zoom, which is not available on the smaller iPhone 15 Pro. Google is particularly interested in introducing the newest iteration of its indigenous processor, which will most likely be known as the Tensor G4. Google's Tensor processors aren't the most powerful, but the firm claims they're specifically designed for on-device AI. 
We anticipate the same will happen with Google's forthcoming Tensor processor. If it wants to remain competitive in the foldable phone industry, Google will have to do a lot. Samsung has extensive expertise in developing foldable devices, but OnePlus has partnered with Oppo to create the most excellent folding phone available. So the pressure is on whether Google chooses a new design, sophisticated AI features, upgraded hardware, or a combination of the three. Let's only hope the rumors we hear in the next few weeks and months keep us optimistic about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold's prospects. So let us know what you think in the comments section. As always, see you tomorrow. Peace out.